Backgammon is a game for two people. The players sit opposite each other and each receive 15 tokens of one color. The goal is to get all of your own stones into your own home field and then remove them from there. It is important that the specified running direction is observed. You should never pull in the opposite direction. The winner is the player who was able to remove all of his pieces from the game board the fastest. Before the game begins, the first player places three stones in the fifth point in the bottom left field and five stones immediately to the right of the center line. The player then places five stones on the point in the top left, and the remaining two stones at the top right. The opponent places his stones completely the same, mirrored. The first player's pieces may only be played counterclockwise, and the opponent's pieces can only be played in a clockwise direction. Now the dice are rolled to see who goes first, each player is only allowed to roll one dice. The higher number starts. Two dice are used for each roll. Both players roll the dice and draw alternately. Strictly speaking, each player on the board to their right hand should roll the dice. For each number rolled, the player may move one or two stones depending on the number on the dice. Here in this example I can move a stone four spaces, and another stone by three spaces. But you can also use both dice results together and move with one stone. Here, however, you cannot simply add the dice together. A stop must be made according to the dice. Some stops could be occupied by opposing pieces so not every movement is automatically possible. If a player rolls a double, his moves are doubled. Here with the two doubles the player is allowed to move his stones 8 spaces. However, each move must contain at least 2 points. You are not allowed to move to a point that is occupied by the opposing player with more than one stone. If a player moves his checker to a point where there is only one opponent's checker, it is removed from the field and placed on the center line. The player who has one or more stones on the bar must put them back into play before the other stones can be moved on. To do this, the player must use at least one of his dice to get the stone back into play. As soon as all 15 pieces are in your own home field, removal can begin. You do this by rolling the stones outwards. As soon as a stone has been removed, it is out of the game. The player who is the first to remove all of his stones wins. If you like this video, please leave a thumbs up and feel free to subscribe this channel. Thank you for watching.